the two most common questions that I'm asked about life insurance are how much life insurance do I need and what kind of life insurance policy do I buy? I'll start off by saying every scenario is different. Your needs will differ from the client I talked to yesterday. Your needs will differ from your needs from 10 years ago. So you should forecast what your needs are now and into the future. We can certainly use a needs assessment program to derive the amount of life insurance, but the programs and worksheets can vary greatly between being very elaborate to using simply 10 to 12 times your annual salary. Once the amount is decided, the next step is deciding on what type of policy to purchase. There are some policies that are scams, but the vast majority of the policies through reputable life insurance companies are good. Every good policy serves a function and has a proper scenario that is applicable. However, if your concern is death benefit and you're within the age bracket of a company's underwriting criteria, term insurance is very hard to beat. Term insurance is by far the least expensive type of life insurance because you're purchasing only the death benefit. In fact, if you do not request and specifically give me a valid reason for purchasing a different type of policy, I will not even provide you a non-term quote. Whatever type you choose, be sure to pay attention to the guarantees. Term and whole life policies are generally based on solid guarantees. You pay this amount and you have this amount of death benefit for this period of time. This is a warning. Universal life policies have historically had poor guarantees. The universal life policies have had a fluctuating interest yield and cost of life insurance. Many of these policies evolved to their minimum guaranteed interest yield and their maximum cost of the life insurance. All you have to do is research the many class action lawsuits regarding universal life. A bunch of people have lost a bunch of money with this product. Fortunately, several companies have greatly improved their universal life products and their guarantees. The bottom line is term insurance is very reasonable. There is no reason for a young adult not to have sufficient life insurance. I have two children. When they turned 18, I replaced their existing term policies with a $1 million 10-year level term policy. My reasoning was there are two spikes at age 16 and age 21 in the mortality tables for young adults. The ages represent the initial driving and legal alcohol ages. From 18 to 28, my children should experience a lot of growth and changes. They will tend and graduate from college. They will get their first job, probably get married and perhaps start their families, buy a home and cars. All of these activities are accepting more responsibility. The last reason was the cost. For my daughter, a $100,000 term policy was a little over $100 a year. Her $1 million 10-year level term policy is $205 annually. My plans are to fund the life insurance policies until they get on their feet. If they want the policies, I simply do a change of ownership form. Think about it. The cost of term insurance is so reasonable. When a 35-year-old couple can acquire a million dollars of death benefit on each if they meet the company underwriting guidelines, for under $45 a month. There is not a good excuse for not having adequate life insurance. Take this into consideration. We tracked the local obituary column for one month. It saddens us to report that eight Alvin residents under the age of 45 passed away. Their average age was 30.75 years old. The causes of death were auto accidents, various illnesses, and job-related injuries. Furthermore, the majority of Americans do not have any life insurance. As a result, we are trying to inform all of our clients that life insurance can be easy to acquire, low cost, and a means to provide family financial protection. Don't wait for the perfect time to buy life insurance. If you do, 
it's too late. Take care.